2020. I'm here in Bakersfield, California. And if you miss the track and field action Friday, definitely try and catch it this Saturday. Today, it's actually going to be free on the internet, I believe on YouTube. And uh, yesterday, of course, we had the Monaco Grand Prix with the amazing 5,000 world record, great 1,500 meter races, steeplechase, all kinds of stuff. Well, today you have a chance to see the Music City Distance Carnival in Nashville, Tennessee. It's funny that I am in Bakersfield, California, the home of Buck Owens and Merle Haggard, and Bakersfield is often referred to as Nashville West. Of course, it's 110 here, so you definitely would not want a track meet. It was funny, too, I went to Nashville and Tennessee to do the race for the ages back in 2018. And when I met people and told them, oh, I was from Bakersfield, it didn't register with anybody in Nashville for the most part. And I said, yeah, it's funny. I've been living in Bakersfield since I was 14 years old. And everybody says, oh, it's Nashville West. And they're like, we've never heard of that ever. They just looked at me blankly. So on with this track meet, it is going to be, they say it's starting at 5.30 Tennessee time. Uh, Tennessee has multiple um, time zones. I did not know that. So California specific, it must be central time zone because it said that it was two hours later than it is here. So it's going to be 3.30 my time. 5.30 is when the um, meet starts in Nashville, Tennessee. They're going to have a 5.30 men's master's mile, women's master's. They're going to have the 800s, the mile. They're going to have a high school uh, boys 32 and girls 32. That would be nice. Men's 1,500, men's 3,000 men's 5,000 and women's 5,000 as well. So it's truly is a distance carnival. Reminds me of some of them that we had here in California when I was coaching at Bakersfield High. Always enjoy the distance carnivals. I mean, I like track meets, but man, you'd go to some meets and the 3200s one of the last events of the day and you'd be at a meet sometimes and have to watch 20, 100, 20 um, 200 um, prelims, 200 meter prelims and it got pretty brutal. So this meet usually happens in the spring. Um, it was definitely difficult to get, uh, you know, COVID regulations and then sponsorships and then getting athletes and a lot of things happening. Unlike there at Monaco, you know, they had the elite of the elite, lots of uh, personal best and world records. Um, this meet in Monaco, they had 5,000 people. Here, they're really not going to have anybody in the stands, but um, he finally got this thing up and running. And going to have top-level athletes of Olympic and World Championship credentials like Ben Flanagan of Canada and Nick Willis of New Zealand, um, Maury McDonald of Australia, Emma, Cor Emma Corburn and Corey McGee of the United States. Um, besides having to change the date numerous times because of COVID, um, they used to have the race at Vanderbilt, but Vanderbilt was not interested in hosting the meet whatsoever. They eventually found this place called Lipscomb Academy agreed to host the meet and the date was pushed back further to increase the chances the athletes would be in shape and they wouldn't have to delay it again. And then he also caught a break, Milner did, the race director, who is um, from National Track Club, um, a 49-year-old coach, former athlete from Leeds, England, of all things. It's the 18th edition of the Music City Race. Um, he caught a break in that there's a company called Swiss Shoe Company On. I believe I've seen them at Expos which launched a new USA training program group in Boulder under coach Jathan Ritzenheimer, who had just recently retired, and they decided to come on board um, to give the sponsor the best exposure. Miller wanted the meet to have a free live broadcast. So yesterday, if you wanted to watch Monaco, you had to pay for the uh, Embassy Sports Channel, and this is going to be free. So um, there's a link on the website on Let's Run, and hopefully it will be all working. It's Run MCDC. I'll put the link in the show notes for the meets website and it says as far as the total number of people at the event we're only we're allowed 250 at any given time we're asking people not to show up for their event more than 90 minutes beforehand we're asking people after they run to please not hang around um yes yesterday at monaco was interesting instead of having like the staging areas where the athletes waited for their races you know in the basement or you know behind, backstage they actually had it out in the field and they have a little sectioned off so you could have social distancing it meant there were no throws at that race but that was kind of a good concept you know just having the athletes out there so Miller has organized some excellent races for Saturday despite the lack of prize money wow there's no prize money many athletes will be trying to earn qualifying marks for next year's USA Olympic team trials and so that's kind of what's going on here hopefully it'll be a good event um, a lot of these athletes have been running um, events where it's just been their team only competing like inner squads. So it'll be interesting to see how they do. 
So as always, stay healthy, be boring, not epic.